Hi folks, my name is Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the Aerolite 204ES. This is going to be a wonderful floor plan. It's going to be a expandable or hybrid unit as it's often called, as it'll have your hard walls and then it'll have your pop-outs for the beds. The huge advantage to these is that they're going to be lightweight. This unit only weighs a little over 4,300 pounds, so it's easily towable by mid-size SUVs. And because you don't have fixed permanent beds, when you put the beds out, it really opens it up and gives you a lot of space for not a, a necessarily very large camper, which is wonderful. Also, they're nice and easy to set up. You have, uh, basically, this is gonna be a door right here. This folds up. You have a, a center support, which I can show you when we go inside, but you just put it down like so. There's gonna be cables. You'll see you don't have any kind of mounts or anything underneath here. It's all gonna be uh, held up by those cables. Those cables can support 1,100 pounds. They're going to be plenty strong, no need to worry. Fantastic system. Underneath, you're gonna have your propane tank here, your covers. Um, you know, you'll have two 20-pound tanks, nice cover there, so you don't, it kinda hides those unsightly tanks, help protect them from the elements. You're also gonna have diamond plating coming up the front. That way, any kind of rocks aren't, isn't going to beat up your beautiful fiberglass. It's gonna be protected. You get some uh, pass-through storage up front here, which is perfect for you know any fishing poles or maybe some fire pokers, put some marshmallows on it, things like that. Great location right there. You'll also see we're gonna have a power awning on this unit. Beautiful, beautiful thing. If you've never used a power awning, I'm telling you, once you do, you'll never wanna use a manual awning again. They're super simple. Touch a button, it rolls out. Touch a button, rolls back in. Gives you full control. If you only wanna bring it out three quarters of the way and stop it, you're able to do that. You know, maybe you're in a tight spot, not a problem. You can still have some awning. Also, you're gonna get an LED strip under there so you don't have to hang your Christmas lights on your awning anymore. It is going to be built in and it's going to really um, give it a nice look at night. You'll also have some outside speakers, that way if you wanna to listen to music outside, no problem. That will be controlled inside, but it does have Bluetooth capability. So if you are out here, you can just connect it to your phone or iPod, and you can go ahead and control whatever you're listening to. Also right here, you'll see you have a cable connection as well as an electrical outlet. So if you do want an outside TV, you can hook it up right there. You know, they'll be underneath the awning so everyone can kinda of hang out, watch your latest uh, show. You'll have your aluminum rims, those are gonna be great. Not only are they gonna look nice, but help prevent rust. It's also gonna be nitrogen filled tires, which are going to give you a better ride going uh, down the road. Now on the other side of the unit, um, well first on the back, we are going to have a spare tire. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it. In the event you do though, you will be covered. Other side, you will have a outside shower, uh, your water as well as your electric hookups, and you're also going to get a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, what you used to have to do uh, in order to wash your black tank out when you're done camping, you take your hose, bring it inside, put it down your toilet to help kind of wash everything out of that black tank before you leave. With the, with the uh, black tank flush you don't have to do that you just take the hose screw it into the outside of the camper gonna be sprayers built into the black tank that'll wash it out for you all right guys I know the outside's wonderful it's beautiful let's go ahead and take a look at the spacious inside Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Aerolite 204 ES. I love this floor plan. Up front, we're gonna have a 60 by 80 queen bed. We'll have another one in the back. I'll show you in a little bit, but it's just great. You get a lot of privacy here. You have a curtain so you can close it off when you're sleeping. Huge u dinette. That way everyone, the whole family is gonna be able to sit around, enjoy breakfast, dinner, you know, nice big table. Some of your u dinettes aren't gonna be very functional. A lot of campers they have a really tiny table table, not everyone can sit at it, not the case in the 204. Huge dinette, easy to sit around, plenty of space for everyone. Also you have a shelf up top above the bed, gives you a little bit of extra storage there, which is always going to be welcome in any camper. We'll have our sofa here. This will be a jackknife style sofa. So not only do you have the, the beds both front and back, the u dinette of course drops down into a bed, but this jackknife sofa will provide another sleeping space as well. So you can sleep a small army in here, which is great. Up top, you get additional storage. This is gonna be nice, deep storage. This is actually going to be very usable. Again, a lot of times in the slides, you get this really narrow, uh, shallow storage, not gonna be the case in the 204. Of course, we have windows all around, nice window here, really lets in a lot of natural light. 
as we start to take a look at the kitchen, right here is going to be our fridge. You get the Norcold fridge freezer, nice and large. You get plenty of space in there for everything you're going to need. Also, it will have automatic switch over, so it can be running off propane. As soon as you plug into shore power, it will switch over for you. Right above me is going to be your AC unit. This also does have a heat control too. It has optional heat, but that's going to be great. Really helps on those hot days to help it keep a little bit cooler. Across the aisle way, take a look at this, folks. You get a huge countertop. This is wonderful prep space. Again, this is a lightweight trailer. It only weighs a little over 4,300 pounds. You get huge space here. You have your three burner stove top. You get your traditional oven, right? So in case you wanna bake anything, there's that. Drawers, you have a bank of drawers. The two here are gonna be a little bit deeper, which is great. So plenty of storage space there. Also up top, you have a nice storage space. You'll have a light here, and you're also going to get a bracket for your LCD TV. As you can see here, these are going to be connected to your multimedia center, because that does have a DVD player. So you can go ahead and plug that into your TV so you're able to watch movies in the camper. Here's going to be your microwave. Again, 4,340 pounds, nice and lightweight. So if your unit can pull, uh, or if your vehicle can pull 5,000 pounds, this one will be perfect for you. Here's going to be your fully functional hood with a light and fan on there. Uh, on the other side of the microwave, again, additional storage, nice big storage area there. And then here's going to be our multimedia center. So like I mentioned, you do have controls here. Then this will be a DVD player, which is going to be hooked up uh, again for your TV. Also, you have a nice double bowl sink. It's going to be a 70-30 split bowl. So you have uh, plenty of room for wash in here, great rinse basin, nice high-rise faucet is going to assist in that as well. Then underneath, you do have some shelving space here, and then you get a ton of storage room underneath, which is excellent, perfect place. You wanna put a trash can, you can hide it right in there. Plenty of room for that. Now, as we start to move down the camper, I do wanna point out you get nice, versatile storage here. My opinion, this makes a perfect pantry. Right next to the kitchen, you get wonderful space here, and then you're also going to get some additional drawers underneath. On the other side of that, you're going to get huge wardrobe. Take a look at this. This runs all the way through. You have three doors. You can see that bar goes all the way across the top. A ton of storage in there. Plenty of place for everyone to hang their clothes. And then underneath, you get additional storage here too. And a full size bin right next to that. Of course, here's going to be our other 60 by 80 bed. Again, you do have a privacy curtain, so you are able to close that off. So queen bed, both front and back. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom. In the bathroom, you're going to have a medicine cabinet with some storage behind that. Of course, you'll have your mirror. Underneath that, you're going to have your sink, plenty of countertop space there. You also have a plug-in and storage underneath that. Now, to the left, you have great storage there. It'll be nice and open. Right up above that, you're going to have a nice big linen closet. Plenty of space, check that out, wonderful. Plenty of spots for all your towels. As we look underneath, we'll have our stool, plenty of leg room, and then on the other side, we will have our shower. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, thanks for watching. This is a 2016 Aerolite 204ES. If you're looking for a lightweight model that can be easily towed by midsize SUV, yet has a ton of amenities and plenty of sleeping space for the whole family, this is probably going to be the unit for you. If you do have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and leave comments on the video, or you can give us a call here at American RV, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks, I hope you have a great summer and I can't wait to pass you on the road to freedom.